What's up everybody? What's going on? Hope you had a good weekend. This review is my Ring of Honor TV review for this weekend's edition of Ring of Honor. I haven't done a Ring of Honor TV review since 2016, I think, in October. So it's been a long time. I missed I like 30 minutes of last week's Ring of Honor. I haven't kept up watching every week but this week I did catch like the last 35 40 minutes so I'm gonna do do a review on it what I started watching when I turned on the Ring of Honor TV edition the episode from January 15th 2017 was Cody Rhodes Cody Rhodes in the ring with Steve Carino their match just started now, I knew Steve Carino started wrestling again, but I forgot about it. He was in a feud with B.J. Whitmore that had a pay-per-view match in 2017. Kevin Sullivan appeared. Yes, the Kevin Sullivan you're thinking of that was the leader of the Dungeon of Doom. That Kevin Sullivan. Guy's got to be in his 60s by now, but it was good to see him on a Ring of Honor pay-per-view, and he's been on an edition last week of Ring of Honor TV. He was in the corner of B.J. Whitmore against J.R. Mark Briscoe. So Cody Rhodes taking on Steve Carino is pretty good from what I watched. It went about 10, or not 10 minutes, probably went about 5 minutes of what I turned on in the middle of it, so I got to see 5 minutes of it. Cody Rhodes... I mean, Steve Carino had a giant elbow pad on, like, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, one of his heroes, probably one of Steve, Curry's, Steve Carino's mentors was Dusty Rhodes. And, of course, we all know Cody is, is Dusty's, one of his sons. So, Steve Carino hit a package power driver during the match. That was nice to see. Then he went outside to the ring, and he opened a black box before that Cody Rhodes took uh, Kevin Kelly's water bottle, drank some water spit it in the eyes of Carino then after that Carino went to the outside, opened a black box and pulled out the golden spike went back in the ring with Kevin Sullivan's golden spike Carino was going to hit Cody with the golden spike and spike him on his forehead like Kevin Sullivan used to do when when he was a heel, probably in the 80s, he did that. So, instead of hitting Cody with the golden spike, uh, Co not Cody, Steve Carino hits a lot of left hands like Dusty, then he did this, did all this, and did the bionic elbow to Cody, that was fun to see. And then, he tried to use the golden spike, Cody hit a low blow, Low blow, and then hit a disaster kick, and then he hit a dusty bionic elbow. Cody hits a bionic elbow on the Carino laying on the mat. One, two, three, Cody Rhodes wins. And then after, right after he wins, running in comes Jay Lethal because he still has business with Cody Rhodes. He runs in the ring, attacks Cody immediately, Jay Briscoe. Not Jay Briscoe, Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal, Cody Rhodes immediately are in the ring, beating the crap out of each other, going back and forth, punching each other. And then Cody bails out of the ring, gets out, jumps into the crowd, and runs away. So that was a fun match between Carino and Cody Rhodes. It was, from what I saw of it, the five or ten minutes I saw, it was pretty entertaining. So at the next pay-per-view, if Jay Lethal doesn't win the tournament, the Decade of Excellence tournament, I expect Cody to take on Jay Lethal on the next Ring of Honor pay-per-view, which I believe is March 10th. Next match now, the main event. Before the main event, Jay Lethal was still in the ring. He got on the microphone, and he says, Cody... He talks about Cody said you want to come here to Ring of Honor. This is where the best wrestlers in the world are. 
and you just ran away like a coward. And Jay Lethal promises to get his revenge on Cody Rhodes. He says, Cody, you came to my house, Ring of Honor, where the best wrestlers in the world are. So, it's Jay Lethal now in the main event in the Decade of Excellence Tournament Round 1. Jay Lethal taking on the legend Jushin Thunder Lager. They brought up Jushin Thunder Lager just flew to the Ring of Honor tapings after competing at Wrestle Kingdom. So I'm guessing this Ring of Honor TV was taped right after Wrestle Kingdom, like probably the same weekend. That, that's my guess. Like probably taped one or two or three weeks ago. So Jay Lethal against Jushin Thunder Lager, pretty entertaining match, pretty good match. Both guys worked really hard. Jay Lethal hit three, yes, three crash and burns dives through the second rope on the Jushin Lager up against the guardrail. Three of them. Uh, Jushin Lager hit a flip off the ring apron. He hit a somersault flip. Taking out Jay Lethal. That was cool to see. Still, Jushin Lager at like 51 years old. He still moves like he's 40. Lager still moves like Chris Jericho. In my opinion, Jericho and Jushin Lager are the same. They move the same. They still both are very good. And they still both got it, in my opinion. And Lager's older than Jericho by a couple years, but... He moves the same speed as Jericho. And Jericho is not that slow for his age at all. So Lager does a flip off the apron. That was cool. Lethal hit the three crash and burns. And Lethal locked on a cross face at one time in the match. Lager got to the ropes to break it up. Jay Lethal hit a lethal injection. His finisher, one, two, three, Jay Lethal wins. So now these guys in the Decade of Excellence tournament, these guys have qualified. The winner will get a Ring of Honor World title shot on March 10th at the pay-per-view, the Ring of Honor 15th anniversary pay-per-view. These guys have qualified in the Decade of Excellence. Jay Briscoe, Chris Sabin, Christopher Daniels, and now Jay Lethal, the final guy to qualifying the decade of excellence tournament the winner of that gets a title shot at the 15th anniversary pay-per-view on march 10th hope you enjoyed this very short ring of honor tv review for january 15th 2017 hope you enjoyed it follow me on twitter at wwe nxt guy subscribe like share comment on my videos i appreciate it go back Watch my past Ring of Honor TV reviews and past Ring of Honor predictions and pay-per-view reviews in my Ring of Honor pay-per-view playlist. Bye for now, everybody.